UK's best part-time band. Hello! I'm Rod Gilbert, stand-up comedian, and I've had a radio show for 10 years, and people send me music all the time. And some of it is absolutely fantastic. It's got me wondering just how much undiscovered talent there is out there. The BBC have hooked me up with this ropey old van, and I'm off on tour. I've hauled in three musical heavyweights to help. Silky smooth, soul to soul legend, Jazzy B. Back to reality. Jazzy is the man behind R&B giants, soul to soul. Oh, yeah. And I remember dancing just as badly as him to this very track as a young hipster down at Moonrakers in Thanesley. Buongiorno. Jazzy. How you doing, fella? I'm all right. How are you? Scraping through as you do. Nice to meet you. So you got your GPS on. <laughs> oh, hang on. You can go up that way. Can I go up that yeah. way? <laughs> Jazzy's clearly loving being on the road with me, and off camera, he cries real hot, wet tears when he learns it's nearly over, as we're heading to North London to see our final act. King Salami and the Cumberland Three. <laughs> That's a name and an half there, isn't it? Drummer and graphic designer Eric literally couldn't live without his garage punk band. It's a bit like a drug. I really need to, to play music, really. If I don't play music, I get a bit depressed. I think about the band most of the time. Cheer up, Eric. You'll get to play once I've done this bit. Eric's day job comes in handy. He designs all the band's artwork. 14 blazing bangers. And you can see the doggy Jack here is in most of the records. I think he was in, like, five different bands when I met him. Um, so I knew what I was getting into, I think. Eric hides his passion for music so well, his wife Mackie has barely noticed he's in a band. He always practices regularly, so Thursday, we, ne we could never do anything on Thursdays. Um, if he's got a gig in the weekend, he prefers not to do anything on a Friday. And uh, he's often away throughout the weekend if it's abroad. <laughs> So I didn't really see him that much. Jazzy and I have come to an intimate venue in North London to grab a slice of King Salami. <laughs> Being part of the programme, it would give us exposure. We'd like our music to be heard by as many people as possible, really. To play in front of a, like a good audience, as opposed to in front of 10 people. I like them even more now, because that's their own. Thank you, everybody. Well done, guys. That was great. I enjoyed I, I, that. I thoroughly enjoyed that. What I enjoyed most about it, honestly, was the fact that it looked like fun, not being so serious and being really entertaining. Yeah, there's too many bands who, who are too serious about it, you know, to focus on glory and fame. And, and, and when they're on stage, they're paralysed. They're looking at their feet. And I'm like, come on, man, you know, it's supposed to be fun. Did you have the character before the hat and stuff, or did you put the hat on and then it all changes? He, he always had a, a, a bit of a character. He always had the character. Yeah. What's the day job tonight, Seb? I coach tennis. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can see that. Hey, can't you tell? <laughs> What's nice is to see a band with a character front man, because I think that's a little bit unusual. Most of the guys try to play it down a little bit. Hey, Great gig. Thank you, man. Great gig. I like the whole the way he's so animated and. Uh, it's great to watch. Yeah. It's really good to watch. You can imagine them working a like if put them in a I mean that was a really small pub gig. You can imagine that working on a, a on, larger on scale. a bigger scale, really working the audience. King Slimy and the Cumberland Three. <laughs> they had character, spirit. Very a bit punky. They're great entertainers. <laughs> Hello, London. Hello. Hello, Scala. Here we are, it's the UK's best part-time band. Give us a U. Yes. Give us a K. Yes. Give us a B. Yes. Give us a B. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> uh, thanks.
thanks all of you for coming so much. It's, it's Ramsey Nerd, that's fantastic. This is Jazzy B of uh, Soul to Soul fame. So our next band, ladies and gentlemen, is from uh, North London. This is your massive, isn't it, Jazzy? <laughs> Talk to them, this is your massive. Well, you know, this next band coming up absolutely blew me away. You know, it's not every day I get to listen to music like that, but it was a massive, massive turn on. So I hope you're going to enjoy them as much as I did. Nervous. Yeah, very nervous. <laughs> King Salami and the Cumberland Three. Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, do you want to hear some rock and roll? Yeah. Mr. Beck and Strip, there would not be King Salami without the appropriate house. We're not funny, we're dangerous. Do you want to hear some rock and roll? Absolutely You're lying. I'm not lying. I'm You're not a lying. pleaser. I'm not lying. I honestly, I'd walk straight past. It. It'd be embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> people are friendlier as I've been walking through the gate. People are actually in a better mood. People are friendly. Because you made that happen. You changed the mood. Don't wave your maracas at me. Hey, gentlemen. Welcome back. Thanks all of you so much for, for staying around. I'm glad that you're as invested in this as we are. You've gone home, have you? Good. <laughs> Jazzy's going to invite 2 1 into the final. I'm going to bring the bands on just to make it more awkward. Yeah, let's do it in front of them, why not? Here we have it. Um, the two bands that are going to be invited back. Because um, you're all great. Everybody here is great. King Salami and the Cumberland Three. King Salami and the Cumberland Three totally blew me away, and I just thought they had the energy, and I, I really feel that they had all the attributes. <laughs> I've been invited by 52 people for a drink. It could be a long night. There it is, the end of our final tour, and we now know our grandfather will battle it out next time in Manchester. <laughs> We 
they've covered more ground than Meatloaf's picnic blanket. And after three regional heats, each legend picked their two favourite bands for tonight's final. Jazzy rooted out the best from the south. Meaty garage punk's King Salami. Each band has just two songs, a cover version and an original, and it's going to be vital to grab the voting audience by the super furries. Please welcome Jazzy B from Soul to Soul, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, let's not be too relaxed, boys, all right? Oh, the next band, they are from uh, London. I'm so relaxed. I've been peeing 10 times over the last uh, 10 minutes. That's how relaxed I am, really. Yeah. They really, truly bring the noise to the party, so hopefully you're going to enjoy them as much as I do. Please welcome all the way to the stage, King Salami and the Cumberland. Make your swing a little bit more relaxed and a bit longer. When frontman Seb isn't making a racket on stage, he's wielding one in his day job. Sorry. Yeah, I think I'm more serious, cheerful but serious at tennis. And I'm crazy and serious with the band because I, I really want this to go somewhere. This is it. This is the spot. <laughs> we discovered King Salami in a North London sweat box. A small audience enjoying a slice of their rockabilly garage punk. When the turban goes on, lead singer Seb becomes omnipotent sausage god, King Salami. Did you have the character before the hat and stuff, or did you put the hat on and then it all changes? He, he always had a, a, a bit of a character. He always had the character. Yeah. A lot of this energy was in the turban, was in the, <laughs> was in the hat. <laughs> because we have an affinity, yeah, yeah. the fact that I keep all my energy up here as well, you know? I'm Does rubbish. that work for you? I'm rubbish without it. What I enjoyed most about it, honestly, was the fact that it looked like fun. There's too many bands who are too serious about it, you know, to focus on glory and fame. And, and, and when they're on stage, they're paralyzed. They're looking at their feet, and I'm like, Come on, man, you know, it's supposed to be fun. So, King Salami Records. The band were formed 10 years ago, and without it, animator and drummer Eric Bacon Strip gets the DTs. It's a bit like a drug. I really need to, to play music. I think about the band most of the time. Eric's band widow, sorry, wife, Mackie, takes it all in her stride. He always practices regularly, so he could never do anything on Thursdays. If he's got a gig in the weekend, he prefers not to do anything on a Friday. And uh, he's often away throughout the weekend if it's abroad. <laughs> so I don't really see him that much. <laughs> and you can see the doggy Jack here is in most of the records. Well, I want you guys to understand and to know this. When I first saw you, one of the most amazing things was how much you brought the audience into what was going on. That happy feeling. Thank you. So please, don't change too much and just go out there and do your thing. Thank you, Jesse. All there, my friends. I'm gonna numb the hell out of you. 
Now I know I've got to run away. I've got to get away. You don't really need any more from me to make things right. You need someone to hold you down, and you think love is too free. But I'm sorry, I don't fret away. Once I run to you. He was like training a puppy. Honestly, he was like, brilliant. Funny. That's Funny what you call front man as well, right? Have you heard about it, Brandon? It's a station. Everybody's doing it all over the nation. I tell you what they're doing. I get my part too. They go, who? 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 I know that's in the net of it, though. Like a goose, and you're the pine, and you're the pine. Think, mate. I'm, I'm confused. I, I'm, I, I, I don't know what they are. It's like it's like watching a son off Bon Jodolf do that band. Oh, push me! <laughs> Every time you do it. Is it comedy? Is it cabaret? Is it rock and roll? I'm not quite sure. But I mean, hell of a frontman. Wow! I need, I need a drink. King Salami messed with Midge's head, but they had the voting audience on their knees and they've put our final band on the back foot. King yeah, Salami, yeah. what the hell? That guy hypnotised the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you guys are missing. Tomlins. <laughs> we need, to, we, we need, uh, we need sorcery. That's what we need. <laughs> <laughs> he did some sort of... He just he went on there and he just sort of... He kind of just... He went like, everyone, on your knees. <laughs> and they all went, OK. That was quite something. Yeah, something huh? to do Brilliant. That. If we could have that... So what you're saying is they're all nice and warm, no excuses, yeah? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly, That's exactly what, what we're saying. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. No, no, I am nervous. <laughs> Who do you think the audience have gone for? I think King Salami. Was, you had that whole crowd hypnotised. It, it was it was some natural the way. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Anybody want this piece of shit? UK's best zero hours contract back. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> How many fans we got? It's been a Herculean effort. Several months, 1,500 miles across these fair isles, one van blown up and one just crashed. <laughs> TV's catchiest title TV talent show on television. My mother-in-law, she was here, and she said, uh, guys, you didn't uh, win, but uh, Susan Boyle, she didn't win. And she, she did great, you know, so... Oh. She said that, uh, <laughs> See? Who's Susan Boyle? This programme is available to watch on BBC iPlayer for 30 days, where you can find options to buy, download and keep the series on BBC Store and other suppliers. Next for us tonight, the drama of Versailles.
You will each collect a Michelin star chef. En route, each chef will prepare a dish. I have to cook a meal on the bike? <laughs> <laughs> chicken. We are having a barbecue. <laughs> the brand new series of Top Gear continues tomorrow at 8, only on BBC Two.